More than 10 million children in Sudan are living in an active war zone. That's according to a new report from Save the Children. It's been nearly a year since the civil war broke out there. And UN officials say the fighting between Sudan's army and the rapid support forces paramilitary has thrown the country into one of the, quote, worst humanitarian nightmares in recent history. Millions of people are reportedly facing starvation, and Sudan's health system is on the brink of collapse. Let's bring in BBC news reporter Mohammed Osman to explain exactly what is happening there. Uh, Mohammed, thank you for joining us. Um, can you just explain to our viewers who may not be at all familiar with the ongoing conflict in Sudan um, what its origins are and what the situation is currently on the ground? Uh, yes, you know, uh, despite that, today is the first day of the eight in all the country, but uh, the fighting between the National Army and the rapid support forces continue in many parts of the uh, country. According to the military sources, uh, the fighting occurred uh, today uh, in Al Jazeera state and also in uh, Sinar state. Uh, the two parties using heavy weapons, including air, air strikes. Also, according to the eyewitnesses uh, from uh, Darfur, particularly in Al Fashir uh, area, uh, that the army used, you know, air strike to bomb uh, people in the, in the ground. Uh, that led to new, you know, casualties. According to the medical sources who spoke uh, to us, they said, you know, around 10 people were killed during this uh, air strike today. Um, you know, uh, we just put up this sort of statistics there, 8.2 million people displaced. This is like a man-made crisis that is happening. People are starving. And it's also putting pressure on neighboring countries like Chad because people are fleeing for their life. But uh, are these other countries in a position to support the millions that are, are desperate to get away from the fighting? Yes, you know, as uh, you mentioned, that the uh, war, you know, causes a lot of, you know, horror to, to among Sudanese people, and, and there, there was no end to the side of the war that will stop, you know, soon, you know, maybe even for weeks or months. Uh, today, just uh, the uh, commander, the chief commander, Burhan, General Burhan, uh, confirmed that the, the army will continue fighting until defeat was so-called, the you know, rebel group, imagine inviting that the Arabic support forces also uh, yesterday, in a speech uh, behind the aid, the uh, commander of the Rabbit Forces, uh, General Hamid, uh, said that he will continue fighting also uh, until to reach the, what so he called the victory. So uh, it seems that the, you know, the starvation and the you know, uh, harassment of Sudanese people continue more and more, and we expect more you know, refugees and even more anti IDPs uh, person you know, in the country that you know, the Sudan now is in the largest, you know, IDB uh, person in the, in the world currently. So uh, we expect, you know, more, you know, uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, refugee and kind of uh, IDBs again in, the, in many parts of the country. Right. Uh, no end in sight right now. Mohammed. thank you so much. This is a conflict that we've sort of not focused on. Um, we focused on it in the beginning. Yes. But as you know, there, there are other conflicts happening in the world that have gotten the attention. Outsized attention. So, but this is such an incredibly important topic. Yeah. And so we're glad that you're able to spend some time with us to break it down. We appreciate it, Mohammed.